Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. We are a political people, us Americans, and we're always looking towards the next election and trying to figure out how the two parties are going to position themselves. Well, there's one theme that Wonderland columnist Dan Henninger has divined about the Democrats, and he's here to talk about it. Dan, the Democrats, historically a party that was soft on crime. You say they're going back there. Let's start with New York. Uh, why is it that anybody would want to return to the New York of the 70s, the 80s, the 90s? Well, it's a little hard to explain that, Mary. Uh, if anyone who has lived through those years, which, uh, you know, people were living in apartments whose doors were literally festooned with dead, <laughs> deadbolt locks, one, two, three, and, and iron bars against the door. I mean, it was really, and the streets were filthy, the subways were filthy. Take the radio out of the car. Take the radio out of the car. Uh, why they, and so, um, Rudolph Giuliani became mayor, he hired Bill Bratton, he put in a system to uh, suppress crime. Uh, Mike Bloomberg has continued with that. They and, fixed the uh, problem. America. They fixed the problem and stop and frisk was part of this. The left, the irrepressible New York City left <laughs> has decided they want to get rid of stop and frisk and so they filed a lawsuit and Judge Sheriff Scheinlin ruled uh, earlier this week that uh, the, have to, you have to establish a monitor to uh, oversee the New York Police Department, and she wants restrictions put on the stop and frisk practices. But Dan, it's practically a prerequisite that you have to be soft on crime now to run for New York City mayor and have a chance. I mean, what has what has changed? Have people just forgotten that you know? The ugly New York that you just described? Well, I, I th you know, younger people probably have. New York is always attracting people, and one of the reasons it is attracting people is because it's such a civilized and peaceful place now. I mean, there are neighborhoods that were formerly crime-ridden, like Williamsburg or Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn, uh, the Bowery in Manhattan, East Harlem, that are now flourishing and, and, and successful, full of restaurants, full of life on the street. And that's where a lot of the young people who've come to New York move. And they have to understand that crime, if not kept in check, could come back into areas like that. Now, I was trying to make a political point. The Democrats, since the mid-1960s, have been vulnerable to the soft on crime charge. And it's always a Republican who takes the opportunity to exploit that. Rudy Giuliani did it in 1994 against David Dinkins. Uh, Richard Nixon did it against Hubert Humphrey in 1968. Nixon ran a law and order campaign. Democrats are very uh, sensitive about that, and they've done a pretty good job of anesthetizing themselves against it. But at the national level too, Dan, it's not just New York. This is something that you're seeing on a, uh, in Washington too. Well, we're seeing it, I think, with President Obama, who in his uh, speech to the uh, National Defense University in May said he wanted to start scaling back the war on terror. And then just this week, in talking about surveillance, he said he wants to provide his own privacy uh, advocate for uh, the surveillance practices. He wants to talk to Congress about more transparency. He wants to establish an outside group. In other words, bureaucratizing <laughs> the war on terror. I, as I say, Mary, there's something in the, the DNA of liberal Democrats that always wants to pull back just when they have had a situation that's working. Well, Dan, 30 seconds left. Yeah. Clintons must be horrified. They did a lot to pull the party back to the center to be tough on crime. Hillary was too. How do Republicans respond to this without being labeled warmongers? Well, I think they simply have to point out the threat, the imminent threat that can come from weakening these policies. And yes, indeed, Hillary Clinton has worked very hard the last uh, four years to establish herself as a centrist and strong on defense. And she's got to be very nervous if something bad happens in the next three years that would give this opening to Republicans saying that Democrats are soft on national security. Okay, soft on national security, soft in the Big Apple. <laughs> Wonderland columnist Dan Henning. Thank you, Mary. Thank you.